1 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. Assalamu alaikum. This is Radio Pakistan. The news read by Abdul Rafi Sohail. First, the headlines. Prime Minister Shabash Sharif says development of Balochistan is one of the topmost priorities of the government. Finance Minister and Uzbek President at the meeting in Tashkent have agreed to develop bilateral bus and railway connectivity between Central Asia and Pakistan. At the UN, Pakistan says Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir is an internationally recognized disputed territory. And North Korea has launched four long-range strategic cruise missiles to demonstrate its ability to conduct nuclear counterattack. And now the news in detail. Prime Minister Shabash Sharif says development of Balochistan is one of the topmost priorities of the government. He was talking to Minister of State for Power Hashim Notzei, who called on him in Islamabad today. During the meeting, overall political situation of the country as well as matters related to power division were discussed. Pakistan and Uzbekistan have agreed to further expand bilateral cooperation in trade, investment and transport sectors. The agreement was reached at a meeting between Finance Minister Ishaq Tar and President of the Republic of Uzbekistan Shafkat Mirzayoyev at Tashkent. Ishaq Tar thanked the leader of Uzbekistan for the opportunity of the meeting and conveyed the greetings and best wishes of Prime Minister Shabash Sharif. At the meeting, special attention was paid to the implementation of important agreements signed on transit and preferred trade. The President of Uzbekistan touched upon the need for the development of bilateral bus services and the acceleration of the railway construction project, which connects Central Asia through Afghanistan and leads to the ports of Pakistan. Defense Minister Khwaja Muhammad Asif has prayed the Supreme Court of Pakistan to constitute a full bench to hear the Suomoto notice regarding announcement of election date for Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa assemblies. Speaking in the National Assembly today, he said it is a very important issue which needs to be found a solution. He said there are several important questions before the judiciary, including the dissolution of the Punjab and Khyber Pakhtunkhwa assemblies, and the answers should come. Minister for Federal Education and Professional Training Rana Tanvir Hussain says Pakistan will continue to support Turkey in its rescue and relief efforts following the deadly earthquake there. He was talking to newsmen in Islamabad today on the occasion of return of Pakistan's rescue team that was there since day one of the disaster. At the emergency session of the UN General Assembly on Ukraine, Pakistan has said Jammu and Kashmir is an internationally recognized disputed territory and not an integral part of India. Exercising right of reply during the General Assembly session, First Secretary, Permanent Mission of Pakistan to the UN, Jawad Ajmal said, India continues to perpetrate a factually incorrect position on this forum year after year. At the 11th emergency session of the UN General Assembly, Pakistan was amongst the 32 member states who abstained from voting on the resolution on Ukraine. Explaining the reason to abstention, Pakistan's permanent representative to the United Nations, Munir Akram, said, Pakistan fully supports the resolution's call for respect for the principles of sovereignty, sovereign equality and territorial integrity of states and non-acquisition of territory by the threat or use of force but regretted that these principles have not been universally applied and respected. China has called for a ceasefire between Ukraine and Russia and a gradual de-escalation of the situation for peace talks. A 12-point plan released by the Chinese Foreign Ministry today, coinciding with the anniversary of the war in Ukraine, also urges an end to Western sanctions against Russia. North Korea has launched four long-range strategic cruise missiles as part of a military drill designed to demonstrate its ability to conduct nuclear counterattacks. The tests came as the US and South Korea held a stimulated nuclear exercise in Washington aimed at sharpening the response to the North Korean challenge. Israel's far-right government has granted approval for over 7,000 new homes in Jewish settlements in the West Bank. The announcement came just days after the UN Security Council passed a settlement strongly criticizing Israeli settlement construction on occupied lands of Palestinians. And now cricket. In the 13th match of Pakistan Super League, 
Islamabad United will take on Koita Gladiators in Karachi today. The match will start at 7 p.m. Pakistan Standard Time. And that is all for now. For more news and analysis, log on to our website radio.gov.pk and also watch live video streaming of our bulletins on the link facebook.com slash Radio Pakistan News Official.